Hello again and welcome everybody to End the Game. I'm Jim Hill. The NFL season's still a few months away, but the Chargers got some bad news on the first day of OTAs. They lost tight end Hunter Henry for the season to a torn ACL during a non-contact drill. There were also several absences, but as this is voluntary, the coaching staff is not that concerned. You wish everybody was here. Obviously, it's voluntary, and we understand that part of it. So the guys that are here, we want to take advantage of getting the chance to see them. The Rams also held OTAs, and no surprise, Defensive Player of the Year Aaron Donald was not in attendance. He's working on the final year of a rookie contract, and he wants a new deal. And if it sounds familiar, it's because we went through this all of last season as well. We're in constant dialogue and communication with his representation. Uh, it is something that we want to get resolved as far as a timetable. Don't really have any dates on that. Um, you know, I don't expect Aaron to be here until we get a resolution to that. Also this week, both the Chargers and Rams held a special gathering for potential season ticket buyers. Both teams had their coaches and general managers in attendance. I think it's just going to be exciting, Jim. And uh, I know the players can't wait to get here and play. Uh, they've seen the models. Uh, it's incredible. It's going to be one of the best stadiums in the world. So uh, I just think it's going to be exciting. But the pressure is always there to win. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's a great event for us to come together and just represent, you know, the, the city of L.A. and kind of what we have in store and, and two great products that we're trying to put out for the city. Meanwhile, the NFL announced that starting this season, players will be required to stand during the national anthem, though they also have the option of staying in the locker room if they so choose. The new policy calls for any player or team staff member to be fined if they sit or kneel while on the field. We want people uh, to be respectful to national anthem. We want people to stand. That's all personnel and make sure that uh, they treat this uh, moment in a respectful fashion. That's something that we think we owe. We have uh, been very sensitive in making sure that we uh, give players choices. And finally, two down and one to go. After winning the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, Justified looks to cement his legacy and claim the Triple Crown in a few weeks at the Belmont Stakes in New York. Jim, there's so many things that can go wrong. So I have, we have to stay focused. They're athletes. They, uh, we can't wrap them in bubble paper. We're feeling pretty good about it. You know, he came out of the race. He, he uh, Came out of the race really well. He would be a, a, a Michael Jordan, a LeBron James uh, of our of our time, uh, as far as his athleticism goes. And then he has a, a mind that that uh, he's a bit of an old soul, man. He just seems to understand what's going on. That will do it from here. I'm Jim Hill. Join us next week for another edition of In the Game.